Hello, my name is Carmen. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you guys are interested in that, please consider subscribing. So I placed a few orders on Zara and you guys seem to like my Zara try on hauls. So that's exactly what this is. Really excited for the coming fall season and everything. So I went ahead and picked out some basics from Zara. I go to them for a few things that I want to share with you guys and it might help with your shopping and everything. And I know the Zara website is hard to shop on. So one tip that I have is just search in the search bar for what you're looking for. I think it keeps you on track as well, especially for like getting distracted when you're looking at stuff. So if you're looking for like a blazer, just look for blazer in the search section for Zara and it will pull up what you're looking for. So, you know, blazer, crop top, shoes, etc. So that's how I shop on the Zara website because I do get some comments about like, how do you find such cute stuff? and that's my tip. My top is from Princess Polly and my bottoms are from Princess Polly. And yeah, you guys can use Hey Carmen for 20% off your order if you would like. And with that, let's just get into it. So I'm a big collector of like white tops. So I think this is like my favorite white top from this try on haul. It's a sweater material, which is really interesting and good for the fall and winter weather. It's cropped, which is perfect for me. I do like tanks because I do layer with like cropped cardigans and jackets. So tanks were great for me. So I got this in a size small and it was about $18. And Zara's one of my favorite places to get basics. They're cheap and they're good. And like they're cut so well. I get a lot of compliments on them as well. So I don't know how, oh no, this is a green thing on it. I'm gonna have to exchange it, but I don't know how I don't have this yet. So I've added this to my collection. It is like eight bucks and I got it in a size small. These go quick, so definitely pick one of these up if you do end up finding it in your size. They're awesome. I think I have it in a few different colors as well. So love it. I went ahead and picked up like this boxy cropped tee. It's really nice. It's a bit too long for what I like, so I'm gonna try to figure it out. I got it in a size extra small and it's about $10. So still a great basic. And then moving on, I feel like I always have to check out like one leather blazer from Zara. So I got this one. This isn't the first one I would get, but I think when I was shopping on the website, a lot of things were out of stock. I just kind of like grabbed what I could on the website. This is the one I ended up getting that had like a size small left. It's a hundred and twenty dollars. I do really like that the leather is really really soft. Like I've never come across like a leather blazer or jacket this soft. Yeah it really like mimics the real one. I don't think it's real because it would be much more expensive and the pockets work and it's a little bit oversized so I really like this one. It's super cute. I can't wait to wear it. It has a subtle little shoulder pad, so that's cute as well. As for fit, this blazer style is my favorite for fit. I wish I was able to grab this in the black color because I would already be wearing it. So this one is $120 as well. So I feel like if you're going to, you're gonna spend $120, I so recommend getting the leather one. This one's priced kind of high, which is probably why there were still some in stock because the ones that are priced well go really quickly. Probably gonna stock the Zara website and see if they ever come back so I can get those. The I thought the color would be a little bit more fall. The color kind of reminds me of spring a little bit. It's a bit too light, but the I'm still glad that I got to try this one on because the fit of this is nearly perfect. I love it. So I think I'm gonna stock the style of this and see if I can get it in like a more fall color. And then the last blazer I got is this one. It's It has a really big puff and it's a little bit longer. And yeah, I got it in a size small and medium. I try out different sizes. That's just what I do when I order things online. I think I do like the size medium a bit more. Just because right now I'm not like drawn to wearing things that like are fitted. So, so I like the medium one and I feel like you might be able to get away with wearing it as a dress because it's so long. The only thing is I don't think you can button it 
from the top button like cinching it in i think you can only button it from the bottom so this one is priced a little bit better at 70 dollars and i feel like it's like better i feel like it's better material than this one that's like 120 so i really don't know how zara prices their stuff but overall this one's still really cute as well and then lastly zara's one of my favorite places to try out trendy shoe styles their sizes do run out really quickly so it's still good to browse and see what they're making and if you can get in your size it's really awesome because their stuff is priced really well so so i was able to get some of these like to the knee wide shaft nylon boots i would say they're kind of like super duper chic rain boots and i love how they look and i wanted to see if i liked it better in black or olive i think i like the black one better just because it's more classic and, it, and it's easier to pair with outfits the only thing the only thing is which really sucks is i think i'm too short for these because if i put them if i put them on the ground they go above my knee so when i'm like bending my knee it's really hard to get movement so so that's what sucks i think i'm either gonna figure this out or, or try to find a different pair but they're really so cute and at least i know that this style works for me another thing that i love about zara if you guys don't know is that they offer free shipping i think over 50 dollars but they also offer free return shipping i think within 30 days i'm really on top of this stuff because I like to order, but I also like to get the option of returning. I think most people have like a Zara store that they can go into, but I feel like doing returns and like even just going in, you have to stand online and it's like really annoying. So I'd much rather just like package it up and send it back and you know, just wait a few days to get a return. So those are my thoughts. I hope you guys like this haul. I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience on shopping on Zara. You guys seem to like it. So if you guys like this video, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more from me, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.